hello, hello again. <laughs> Welcome to the Vickers Blend. Uh, it's Friday afternoon, which is when I seem to be doing these. I wonder why. Uh, another big week. Another great week. Uh, lots of good stuff happening. Today, I have a review of two churches. Uh, now, this is a very inexpensive wine. So, about $10. Um, and I chose two churches. I'm doing a bit of a collection at the moment. I haven't done much of a review on them yet, but I've been collecting... Uh, wines that have uh, religious context or um, like this one um, is done in honour to the Lutheran communities uh, that came out of Germany that are a big part of our wine industry, its heritage um, down in uh, Barossa. Uh, and uh, look, I must say, reading right the back of this, um, it doesn't sell itself to be an amazing wine. It says things like um, it is a wine that's fleshy and supple, richly textured, and firm traditional red. Uh, you know, this could be an understated um, way of talking about a wine. We're about to find out. Um, I, I am going to talk, I'm going to probably use the excuses to occasionally talk about um, uh, the, the spirituality that's often connected with wine. Um, you know, wine... Um, has this really interesting place in the life of certainly the Christian faith. Um, you know, we, we use wine um, to remember Jesus' blood that was, was shed, um, you know, and, and Jesus himself was, was sometimes um, in positions where, um, you know, he turned water into wine. Um, you know, some people try to dumb it down and say it was an alcoholic, and um, wow, you've got to be a spin, dollar, spin doctor like the best politicians to do that. Um, so, you know, I'm going to talk a little bit about um, faith and, and wine and the connecting points uh, and just have a bit of fun sometimes too. Um, so, look, I'm going to review um, this very attractive looking uh, red wine out of the Barossa. Um, for those who know or know, I've spent um, a bit of time in the Barossa recently, so I'm going through a very big Barossa phase at the moment uh, and it's not disappointing. First thing uh, I noticed about this one, it's it's, uh, it's texture is is you know compared to say something like the pepper jack from last week, um, not quite as as deep a, a red velvety colour. Um, you know, it's got more of an opaquey kind of red, but again, you know, look, you can tell it's a um, you know a cab sav. It's it's got that um, uh, cab sav look about it. Um, you know, which of course makes it distinct from the Shirazes out of the Barossa. Um, anyway, let's try it. Mm, certainly got the beautiful bouquet um, of a Cab Sav. It's interesting, um, the Cab Savs out of Barossa um, were not the, um, the big Cab Savs that, that I suppose I was expecting. Um, they had a, a you know, and, and a lot of the winemakers themselves said that, that Cab Sav wasn't really their thing. They didn't consider themselves a Cab Sav region, and, and uh, you know, I'd probably agree based on the wines that I've had. But I've got to tell you, there are some really good Cab Savs out of there. Um, and certainly I know Michelle um, loved a couple of Cab Savs she found. She probably enjoys the Cab Savs more than I do. Anyway, beautiful bouquet. That's really, really nice, um, really nice across the palate, beautiful. I see why they said textured. Look, um, again, that's good. Oh, I'm very happy to drink that, um, especially at $10 a bottle. Uh, got it on special at my local bottle shop. Wow, it's good. I'm going to, uh, Michelle um, comes home in about an hour's time and I've got some wine and some crackers and cheese. Uh, I'll be interested to see how this goes uh, with a little bit of um, crackers and cheese and some good company. Mm, it really is. It's, um, it's got a really nice body. Plenty of body actually. It's, it's, it's what you'd expect of a Cab Sav in terms of big body but boy it finishes nicely. Really 
did not expect that. Often when you buy a cheaper cab sav, you'll get that big body, particularly if it's Australian, you get that big body, that big flavor across your palate. But the finish is usually pretty rough and ready. But this is finishing lovely. You know, it's almost like it's got a little bit of Shiraz in it, but it doesn't. Um, it just, that's really enjoyable. So, um, look, you know, if you're looking for a good cab sav, you know, you want an inexpensive cab sav, two churches, Barossa, cab Sauvignon. Wow. 2015 so it's got a couple of years salad um, you know I, I mean I, I know that they talk about you know cellaring cab sabs but I, I wouldn't sell that one it's interesting uh, talking to some of the winemakers at the Barossa with the new winemaking techniques um, cellaring is just not as big a deal anymore um, they're producing wines that are designed to be drunk in the first couple of years you know the, the way they um, purify wines now used to be that you know, you'd have to let a wine sit and settle so that all that really, you know, harsh um, tannins could settle out of the wine. But with new winemaking techniques, they, they are able to do that in the process. So the need for the cellaring um, just isn't there anymore. I mean, don't get me wrong, you, you, you know, if you've got a really good wine um, and cellaring will, will improve its finish uh, and, and if it's a, a big tanniny wine, it will definitely help. But a lot of these wines they're producing now are actually designed to be drunk young. And uh, look, I've got to tell you, you know, this is only, uh, what, three years old um, and it, it's drinking beautifully. So, you know, could you sell it? Sure. But why would you uh, not want to drink so well now? So uh, enjoy. I know I'm going to Friday nights. Thank God. Thank you, Lord, for Friday nights. Um, you know, I think everything in moderation. Enjoy. Um, I know for some people, um, alcohol is a real problem and, uh, you know, I, I feel for you. Um, but, but so too is so many things in life. And uh, I think God gave us everything to be enjoyed in moderation and in balance and in right proportion. Um, and I know that, uh, thank goodness, this video isn't going to go. Um, I'm, I'm about roughly 2 million subscribers short of going viral. So I can't imagine too many haters are going to hate on me for saying this. But... But the reality is, like everything God gave us, it's meant to be enjoyed in moderation. And, uh, you know, to, to see the glory of God in everything. And quite frankly, I see the glory of God in this beautiful wine. And uh, with every sip I take, I'm going to give thanks that I live in a country that allows me to drink um, wine as beautiful as this. And uh, we have such great winemakers in this country that can produce it. Um, and like they did back in Jesus' day, uh, they associate it with celebration and Jesus enjoyed and joined in the celebration, uh, whether it be the Passover meals or whether it be weddings. So here's to you. Um, enjoy your uh, Friday night, whatever you're doing or whenever you're watching this. And uh, I'll see you again. And let's go out with that beautiful track. Of two